Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm gonna to show you another way that we can practice writing our numbers from one to 100. Today I got out my hundreds chart again. If you do not have a hundreds chart, you can just look one up online, or perhaps you already know how to write your numbers one to 100 and you can just do it from memory. So a week or two ago, we practiced coloring in our number chart. We colored each row of numbers a different color. We started with our count by tens and we did the column and colored it red. And then we practiced counting by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Then we came back the next day and we practiced counting by fives. We circled all the count by fives numbers and it sounded like this, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And then like we said, we colored each row a different color. So the count by ones numbers were purple, the teen numbers were gray, the 20s that started with twos were orange, the 30s that started with threes were yellow, the 40s that started with fours were turquoise, my 50s that started with fives were yellow, my 60s I colored pink, my 70s I colored orange, my 80s I colored a purplish color, and my 90s I colored turquoise again, and they all started with nines. And you were free to color those any color you wanted. Well, today I have another fun way to practice writing those numbers. I have been busy all morning, and this activity will keep you busy for a long time, which is good, especially on a rainy day or a day where you're just not sure what you could do. This would be a fun thing. So you're going to need 102 pieces of paper. And you can just cut them out. So you can just spend some time sitting on the floor and cutting out a stack of papers. Or if you have index cards like I do, I cut all my index cards in half. And I have been busy writing my numbers one to 100. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, whoops, five, six. Now I'm not gonna keep counting all the way to 100 for you but know that I've been busy doing that. And I have gotten all the way to 89. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the rest of my numbers right now. So after 89, if you don't know, you can check your number chart. After 89 comes 90. So I'm gonna put 90, nine, zero. And we know that when we're counting numbers follow a pattern. So if we had nine, zero, then we're gonna have nine, one for 91. And then nine, two for 92, 9, 3, for 93, 9, 4, for 94, 9, 5, for 95, 9, 6, for 96, 9, 7, for 97, 9, 8, for 98, nine, nine for 99, and 100, one, zero, zero. And I'm gonna be excited to get to that number, so I kinda, kinda, kinda make a little fun thing around it. Okay, and I have one extra card. Now, I'm gonna take this big stack of cards, and again, this is something you can do all by yourself, and mom and dad can be off doing their thing and you can be busy, busy, busy. I'm gonna take this big, huge stack of cards. Look at that stack. And I am going to make a number train around my house and see how long my 100 number train is. So come with me and I'm gonna get busy starting my number train. Hi again. I've been busy laying down my hundreds train and I left off at 95. So I have 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. I want you to take a look at how long my train goes, and then we're gonna walk together back to the beginning. All right, so I'm gonna walk down, down to the beginning of our number line. And then you can walk your number line and say the numbers as you go. I'm gonna say a few of them, I won't say all of them. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and I'm going to switch to 10s, but you could keep counting by 1s, and I'm going to go to my 30s, and I'm going to go to my 40s, and I'm going to go to my 50s, and I'm going to go to 60, and I'm going to go to 70, and then 80, and then 90, and then 100. Again, boys and girls, this is an activity that will take you a long time. A great thing to do to keep you busy. I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.